C. Uh, today I'm gonna explain how we can play the bow, uh, down bow and up bow. And this is super important. I am, I really don't want to give any unnecessary um, input to you. So I've been really, really carefully thinking how I can explain this. And um, I found some way to explain easily and effectively. So yeah, so I just want to say this is really important and uh, please focus and then try your best. I'm trying my best. All right, let's get started. I want to talk about the nature of the bow. How does bow look like? Bow is straight. <laughs> so a lot of teachers and violinists talk about the straight bow. So try to play, you know, like straight bowing. But this is ideal. You know, you don't need to keep this absolutely. Some people play a little bit rounder. Of course, it's not extremely round, but a little bit not super, you know, it doesn't need to be like super straight. Here's the thing. So everyone has different length of arm, different, you know, flexibility of shoulder joint. So I don't want you to be obsessed being straight. So we are going to make a straight bow, but not the absolute straight bow. But you can make, you know, absolute straight bowing. That's totally fine. You can make a straight bow, but if not, don't be obsessed with it. Don't, you know, to make a straight bow, you know, I'm like giving a, you know, like, push my shoulder or you know push my arm whatever happened like holding my hand like too tight then better not to you know think about straight bow doesn't need to be as long as you make a good sound then totally fine so i want you to find the best uh movement and cooperation of your shoulder arm, elbow, and relaxed hand. Let's play the down bow. So down bow, everything is going down. So remember that. Hold the violin and put your bow in the middle between bridge and fingerboard right here. But this is the same thing. This is not an absolute rule. But for now, we are practicing to put the bow in the middle between bridge and the fingerboard. But later, it's called contact point. So we can use the part close to the bridge or close to the fingerboard later after you practice this basic spot okay so that called contact point for now we're playing in the middle between bridge and fingerboard here uh, i'm gonna put my bow on a string so make sure your arm for A string, B string, A string. Let's go over other string too. For D string, raise your arm this much. And to go to G string, raise my arm this much. Important thing when you play G string, try to stay close to the D string, not too much wood side then i touch wood here can you see here wood so stay close to the d string so arm should be right here 
N D A E A D G D A E So try to feel the different angles between the four strings with your arm Make sure your hand not only wrist working okay your hand relax here is nice straight it's not you know your finger or wrist doesn't like bend weirdly just holding the bow with the fingers nicely straight here and put your bow in the middle between bridge and the fingerboard and your arm feel the angle between all four strings and now let's play the down bow finally so put your bow in the middle between bridge and the fingerboard and for now put your middle part of the bow on the string so let your middle part of the bow touch the string let's do a string and then play the down bow here let's practice from here so to play the down bow everything will go down so when you look at my arm from my back Instead of holding your shoulder and arm, can you tell the difference? So relax your shoulder and arm going down. And main thing is your elbow and arm make a straight. And your hand will go towards my nose, front of my body. Hand going this way. And then feel how your arm and elbow needs to move to be nicely stretched. So put your bow on the string and play down bow. Elbow here, hand going down. Stretch. And hand fingers will be just nicely relaxed. And imagine you bring everything to the ground. You drop gradually to the ground. Of course, when you look at the mirror, that absolutely help. So you can look at the mirror and, and look how your arms moving, how your elbows moving, check them out. But before you check with your eyes, you really need to listen to your sound. So feel, feel how bow hair touch the string and listen to your sound and look at how they need to move to make a good sound. Think this way. If I move my arm this way, then I can make a good sound. If I move my elbow this way, then I make a good sound. Opposite. To make a good sound, feel and listen and see, observe how they are moving. So put your bow hair on the string and then fill. Drop to the ground and then fill. Play slowly and then listen to your sound. 
put every weight from your arm, shoulder, arm, elbow, hand, weight on the string. You're holding the bow, put everything on the string here. So don't push, don't push, but nicely put the weight on the string and then play down bow. Try to stay in the middle between bridge and the fingerboard. That's fine. You can play. Not super straight, but still make a good sound. That's totally fine. Try again. My elbow. Gradually stretch and straight for the down bow. Now let's play the up bow. Up bow is the same thing. First of all, make sure your shoulder and arm doesn't get tensed. For example, is you bring your hand by folding your elbow up here. And to play the part close to the frog, your arm needs to move. Your arm Bring your elbow and hand up. One more time. It's not your hand or wrist. It's not elbow here. show you continuously down bow let's start at the frog now let's use full bow whole bow so put your bow on string close to the frog and drop everything going down your bow will move this way Now can you see square of your arm and elbow shape here? Pass by the square spot and your elbow make a straight with your arm. And then make sure your hand going towards your front. Not Going back. Going to the front. Stretch your arm to the front. From square point. To my front. And then up bow, fold your elbow. Square point, more, and then arms start to move. Make sure your arm doesn't get lifted or shoulder doesn't get lifted. Keep it down. And arm, this muscle at the back. Bring your hand, arm, bow, up. So this is the down bow and an up bow. I don't want to explain every single ones. Maybe I will have a chance little by little in the future with the music. 
but try to focus the main thing and then try to find your best sound and observe how your arm, shoulder, elbow needs to move. Just one thing that I really want to emphasize is your shoulder is always relaxed and down for down bow and especially for up bow it's really easy to think you know for up bow lift up your shoulder or lift arm keep it down so move this way going down bow going to the front stretch to the front and fold and arm all right uh happy to see you again and i'll come back with more music stuff let's do really really you know have fun bye bye